Hi, Leo. Welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stop, stopping by and watching. If you new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Leo, I decided to bring this series back. This is intended for people who are truly single, really don't have anybody right now. They want to know when new love is coming in, when will they meet somebody new. So, this could be the reading for you. If you have somebody in mind or a connection you feel like you have with someone, I would say please go and watch the Love Connection readings. Um, and they may resonate more for you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Um, I could pick up on past, present, or future energies. Um, I guess take it how it resonates for you, if that's applicable. And um, if you did participate on the poll I had on my channel about a month ago, I requested viewers to vote on what kind of readings they would like to see, and this was part of one of the choices. Uh, that was voted for. So I'm bringing back the singles rating and I've also brought back spirit messages. So those are all out for the month of April. So let's see what we have for Leo. Welcome everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're staying, uh, staying, uh, staying safe <laughs> at this time. So what do we have for Leo? So what I'm going to do here is get their energy. What is their main energy like? What is their spirit energy like? What is their love energy like? And then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at <clears throat> how and where you may meet this person. And then we'll look at a time frame of when you can meet them and what kind of connection it could be between the two of you. So everything you need to know, Leo, is down below in the description box in the pinned top comment. Decks I'm using, links to purchase them if you would like to, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, your playlists are below, love in general. If you'd like to go back and watch, I consider them all timeless. And if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that info is below also. If you're not comfortable using PayPal for energy exchanges, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for tips, donations, or energy exchange, exchanges. And if you do, thank you. So Leo, Leo singles, looking for love, new love, coming in, new person. What... Okay, pulling that one. What is the energy of the person? Ooh, ooh, storm warning, 10. Tens are about completions, and then one is a new beginning. So this person could have just went through something very stormy in their life and ended something here, and now they're ready for a new beginning. One would be a new beginning. Or this person could bring a lot of uh, stormy energy into your life. So we'll see how that plays out. We'll see how that plays out. So let's see what their energy is like, their spirit energy, this possible incoming person, this possible incoming person for Leo, please. Thank you so much. One more. Okay. What is the spirit energy like of this person? New love, new person coming towards... All right, that was two. I just want one. One for Leo. And we have here, receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others, but now is the time for you to learn how to graciously receive, just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. So... It could be this person is a little hesitant to receive what you have to um, offer them. This could be the storm warning. All right, so let's see. Because you see, um, I was just going to say divine, divine masculine, but you see a masculine figure here, but it can be male or female. Here, kind of reluctant to receive what is being offered. All right, so let's see what this person's love energy is like for you, Leo. Possible incoming person for Leo. What is this person's love energy like? New love, new person coming into Leo. All right, you're feeling that one. And we have Ganesha, clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. 31 is 4. 4 is about stability, foundation. So this person uh, could be 
clearing away obstacles in their life. And I feel like they're divinely protected and being guided to a newfound stability in their life in some way. But they may have issues here in giving and receiving equally. And it could be because they went through something in the past here that really affected them. So they may have to clear away this stormy energy. But I feel like spirit and divine energies here are really trying to work with them, trying to uh, lead them, guide them, trying to get them to clear away what's no longer serving them. So they can have stability, so that they can have love brought to them that will be very stable because maybe they had something very unstable in the past. Oh boy. So let's clarify this energy, Leo, for you. Let's clarify this energy, why this is all here. Why is this person sitting in all this energy? I do ask Leo, especially if you're new, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Please, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five readings a month. Um, a love connection reading for someone you feel like you have an actual connection with. And then we have these singles readings, spirit messages, a general reading. And then I do a bonus reading where we take a look at a little bit of love, a little bit of life, general life, and then advice. So if you're interested in all that, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. And if you do, thank you. So why is this person, spirit, please singing all this energy? For Leo singles, this incoming possible person, new love. Why do they have all this energy here, please? For Leo, justice. Okay, so something in the justice field, in the justice, in some way, uh, they could have been through a divorce recently because we got 10, 11. So getting justice, serving justice, truth, clarity, balance. So they could have went through going through a divorce here. Tens are about endings. So what else do we have for Leo? What else do we have for Leo? Five of Wands. Yeah, so, and there's the storm warning. So a lot of whatever they've been through here is a lot of strife, conflict, arguing, bickering, not seeing eye to eye. Like two fiery, passionate people just like <laughs> at each other all the time. A lot of conflict here. So... What else for Leo's possible new love here? Ten of Swords. So another ten. Yeah, wow. Can't make this up. So they've been through big ending here. Probably a divorce or just ending of a long karmic cycle, um, a long-term relationship. It was very conflicting. A lot of, like I said, arguing, fighting, and ending here being feeling like being stabbed in the back. <laughs> in the back. Sorry. Feeling like they were stabbed in the back by somebody. Maybe they didn't even see it coming. Wow. Okay. Because you see this person here looks like they're trying to hide something, like in secret. And we have the moon energy here. So why is this person sitting in this energy for Leo? Three of Pentacles. So I feel like they're trying to work, you know, work on themselves. And I feel like this is this Ganesha divinely guided energy here, you know, really guiding them to work on themselves and clearing away energies no longer serving them, building their stability back up, their foundation, their basis, you know, could be just working, working on themselves, on their um, stability, teamwork, collaboration. I feel like it's teamwork between divine energy and the spirit world in this person to really um, get them to the place they need to be so they can have a stable, a new stable love come in. So what else here? Let's get one more. Eight of Cups, yeah. Walking away from things that are no more emotionally fulfilling for them, but also can walk to something more fulfilling. So, you know, spirit here really wants them to work on themselves, clear away this energy, and walk away from that which is no longer serving them so that they can walk to something that would be more emotionally fulfilling because you see the water in the um, distance. So there is something out there that would be more, much more emotionally fulfilling for them than what was in the past. I see just a lot of dry, barren 
uh, like de dead grass actually here behind them. And then they have all this abundant and like the light here's someone probably sh shining their light for them, leading them on the right path could be against divine energy, almost like the star energy leading them in the right direction, the right path. Wow. And it could be they're sitting in this energy of not willing to accept or receive something. could be this past person. Maybe they try to come back. They're like not receiving what this person is offering them. I think they're totally moving on from this. Wow. So I don't have any court cards here. I'm going by the court cards. I have no court cards. So that's what I'm going by for the signs. So <clears throat> let's see here. Let's see here of how and where you can meet this person, Leo. Leo singles, new love coming into them. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So fate, destiny, divine timing. I'm seeing water energy, outside energy. What else for Leo? All right. Now we have the Emperor. Okay, let's get a few more. This could be, uh, okay, let's get a few more. Ten of Cups, Energy, wow. And the Six of Wands, holy crap. So, you could meet them in an outside setting. Like if you're visiting like a landmark or a museum or something like that. Or, um, it's going to be, um, I'm thinking almost someone maybe you work with that may have been like your boss at one time. <clears throat> could be somebody that you worked with. Somebody that could uh, work in finances, owns their own business, is an entrepreneur kind of energy. You could, I'm getting like casino. Maybe you could even meet them at a casino or something like that with the Wheel of Fortune there. Wow. But I mean, the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands, it's like success and victory, total fulfillment, happiness between two soulmates. So. But that's for like when and how you may meet them. Well, where, where and how. So I'm feeling either something outside, like if you're, um, and I know right now everyone's in isolation, but when this is over, if you go to like um, local attractions or you go on, well, say vacation, but if you go visit somewhere, a local attraction or a museum or something like that, or maybe at a casino, or this could have been, been somebody you worked with at one time that might, may have been your boss at one time. All right, so let's get a possible time frame for Leo of when they could possibly meet this person. Meet this person for Leo. So it's a couple different messages. I mean, if you don't go to the casino, well, then that message is not for you. If um, you don't feel it's someone you work with, then I pay attention to um, I'm also getting something like King Arthur's Fair. Well, that's for like the Northeast where I am, but they do uh, medieval reenactments like outdoor festivals and things like that. So if you go to something like that or a local attraction or a museum or something or something outside, uh, I feel like that's where you pro probably could meet this person. So let's look at it, see if we can get a time frame for you, Leo. Leo. So we have the Hermit energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. Let's get one more. <clears throat> In the sun. Wow. So I'm getting um, summer into fall. Pentacles is fall. The sun is summer, obviously. And the Hermit is Virgo season. So that is also after Leo, so the end of summer. So I'm feeling end of summer into fall. This is sun. I mean, that's your energy, Leo. 
no court cards yet as to what sign they may be. So let's see if we can get that. So what would be the energy? What would be the energy? What would be the energy of this connection for Leo with this person? The energy of this person, this connection, the Four of Swords, the Four of Cups. Oh boy. Let's get one more. And the Eight of Swords. So oh, I'm feeling like this person is going to be unsure. I mean, if you meet them and there's a connection of some kind and maybe just dating. I think this person's going to be a little unsure of something serious. Uh, they may be still trying to heal from the past. Four of Swords energy is about healing, recuperation, um, you know, taking time alone. Four of Cups is unsure about love, about anything, uh, feeling bored and melancholy. And then the Eight of Swords is uh, mental entrapment. So they may be still stuck in their head about new love. And accepting a new offer and still trying to heal is what I feel here. Still no card cards, Leo. Wow. So anything else for the possible connection here for Leo between, oops, okay. I guess we'll take these. So we got the Page of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So I feel like you're going to wait for them Five of Cups energy here is about sadness, loss, and hurt. Seven of Swords, somebody sneaking out of a situation here. And then the Page of Wands, it's usually about passionate communication or good news coming in of some sort. I feel like you're going to be waiting to hear from them, but I feel like they're just going to kind of sneak away from you because they're still too hurt, still too hurt here, and they're still trying to heal. So unfortunately, I think, you know, you may date, there may be some passion between you, but I don't think they're looking for anything serious. Uh, even though you did have the Six of Wands, Ten of Cups up here, I think you may meet them and want this with this person, like right away, after dating for a while. Like you see, like you could really have long-term happiness with this person, but I don't think they're ready for that. And I think they're not going to give you anything more than just maybe dating or some fiery, passionate energy. And ultimately, I think they may, they're may they too true trapped in their head, still trying to heal. They're still unsure about love and long-term commitments here, Leo. So you may get caught up with somebody, and you may fall for them hard, and they may not reciprocate here uh, this energy back to you. And I feel like that could be that storm warning also. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we got the Ten of Wands. So yeah, they're still trying to lay down burdens here. Endings, completions, Nine of Pentacles, becoming single, independent kind of energy. And then the Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're defensive and on guard here. They're holding back with the Four of Pentacles energy. But we do have, you know, happiness and joy, wish fulfillment here. Or they could be overindulging kind of energy judgment so you know needing to make a judgment call on this here but i think they may just kind of turn their back and just let the connection end here unfortunately because yeah i think they're afraid here of this ace of pentacles something stable and grounded though the universe is trying to give them this but i don't think they're ready for it yet and now we have the queen of wands so this could be you or another fire sign so you could be could be another fire sign but yeah you're wanting to leap in and take this you know leap of faith with this person or they could be an earth sign uh virgo taurus capricorn or a water sign <laughs> cancer scorpio pisces so king or queen doesn't matter here somebody is too stressed out here so yeah unfortunately you want to take this leap but i don't with to this ace of pentacles but unfortunately I don't think this person is ready and they're not make, ready to make that judgment call. They're just concentrating on themselves. They may be overindulging. They're holding back. They're defensive. They just want to be single and independent and they don't want any burdens here. So they may just want some fiery, passionate, you know, dating kind of energy. And I don't think they're looking for anything serious yet. Down the road, I don't know. But ultimately, it'll be up to you, Leo, whether or not you continue with this person. 
but um, I just want to say storm warning. I think they're going to stir up a lot of emotions in you. I think you may fall for them and they may not reciprocate that back to you. Even though they may feel the same, I just don't think uh, their fear and their hurt and their pain and all that energy, I think, will overcome any other feelings they may have, even if they have a strong connection to you. For now, anyway. And it depend, would depend for you, Leo, how long you would want to wait for them also. Okay, Leo, well, best of luck to you. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.